Hey Libra, this is Lisa with Heart of Inspiration and I'm here for your September 2019 general reading. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. I hope you like something here. Consider liking and subscribing and don't forget to hit that bell when you do. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so very much. I so very much appreciate your continued support. All right, Libra, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, and Rising. So let's get it going. Libra, I've already pulled cards for you. So the Oracle cards up top are from the Energy Oracle cards deck. All right. So we have the door to prosperity. Oh, excuse me. The door to personal healing and happiness. The thinking man and storm morning. When I see these three together and then I see our card layout for the month, this is what I'm hearing. So in September, leading up to your month, right? Because we're about to start Libra season closer to the end of this month. Fabulous, right? At the fall equinox. Wonderful. What does that mean? That means we're coming, you Libra are coming into this last stretch where you're kind of doing this nesting, kind of this preparation time, kind of this final check of where am I at? How do I, where do I stand? All that kind of great stuff, right? Um, and it's a reflection time for you. Like Virgo season for you is a reflection time. It's a time to look back on what you've done the other 11 months or 10 months out of the year and really come and say, okay, what do I want for my next trip around the sun? What, where are we going in this coming next few months, especially, but um, coming when I'm coming into the, my most powerful time, where am I going? What am I doing? So it's time and you're being called to do the healing, the personal healing, the personal healing, right? That is necessary to move forward. The thinking man represents actually someone coming in alongside of you and working with you. Someone who is very thoughtful, compassionate, insightful, coming alongside of you and working with you and help guiding you, that someone can actually be yourself. It can actually be your higher self coming in, working with you. Okay. See how that feels. Enjoy that. Embrace it. Love it. Honor it. Respect it. All that kind of great stuff. Okay. Um, but know that there's help. Now that could be Spirit guides, that could be somebody physical. That can be your higher self. Just finally reflecting and saying, you know what? I got to look at my life. I have to look at my relationships. I have to look at the plans that I've made. I got to look at everything and really, really think about it and really, really figure out what do I want to do? What's going to bless me? What's going to help me during this whole time period? And then there's a storm warning. It is just that, right? There's a storm up ahead. It's coming. Storms aren't always completely destructive, but this is really a time, I'm gonna put this in juxtaposition with this. Storms can be a reset, but storms can, this I think is saying, listen, the door to personal healing and happiness is open because the storm internally is coming about as you're reviewing your life, as you're reviewing everything right now, it's coming, right? Because it's coming and you know that it's coming, there's a door already open for healing and escape. So it doesn't have to take you over at all. It doesn't have to do that at all. But what you do want to be sure you're doing is being good to yourself, patient with yourself. And you just need to know that things are going to be a little wonkier. It's going to be a little tougher. So if you're in a relationship right now, just kind of understand that you may be like really irritating to your partner at the moment. Now, let's get to the actual um, tarot for this month. I'm going to pull this back just a little bit more. So we could put clarifiers down here. Coming into the month, which is actually good, right? 
You're coming in with Ace of Pentacles. That's the energy coming towards you. This anticipation of completely brand new starts, abundance in every area of your life. And that's why we need to go through this healing process because we have to really make a, we have to make way and have a good solid foundation upon which we can have this Ace of Pentacles abundance, this new start. We can't build a new house in the old same crappy foundation. Um, page of cups be new love as well and we have the lovers so this is really interesting to me that we could you could be seeing a renewal of vows a renewal of commitment or a brand new love coming in also a new understanding and love of self and this is going to be this is going to be a very contemplative month for you you're really going to be thinking about things and analyzing them but from a very authentic um, feel good set way you're bringing to the table the lovers like energy you are just like life is actually really good overall like if you really take stock in it you're like you know what life is not really bad and I really just want peace and happiness and I'm feeling that I'm over getting over disappointment with the three of swords right and I'm exercising with temperance card I'm exercising patience and understanding I've got to be a fantastic alchemist, right? I've got to get the proper mix of my logical side, my lover side, my air side, being grounded, all of these things. i got to balance this all out so that my chakras are in balance, so my energy is in balance, my aura is in balance, and I can go forward in complete justice with a good, solid direction, right, into wh where we're going to go. Um. Is energy that's coming towards you that could be a problem is the two of swords. This concept that's kind of like indecision, like there's so many changes that need to be made. And I think this storm is really going to, and this need to be thinking, like it's okay to be thinking here, right, with this four of cups, but and don't get analysis paralysis. Um, but I see there being great indecision, ooh, and another two, and balance. So your money and um, some things could really, and your feelings, all of that could really be coming into a, an area of imbalance. Perhaps it's like becoming increasingly difficult for you to concentrate. You're not really having good clarity of thought right now. Um, perhaps, again, it seems like, oh, I can't really slip and win for losing. I'm always spending money everywhere, which way I go. Um, maybe uh, something didn't come through, a business opportunity or whatever didn't quite come through the way that you wanted it to. So things are just not really as balanced as you had had wanted and there's a delay you're you're like you feel like you're being delayed like you with these plans and with the hangman you're feeling like oh my gosh it's not going to come into fruition we're not going to make it right it's not going to happen what's going to help you overcome is the fool okay knowing that the storm the storm is coming it's going to wipe the slate clean okay in certain areas not everything is going to be destroyed but enough that you're going on a new adventure okay so don't worry about like taking the old tools with you you'll have new tools right um uh, that five of cups is going to read that in reversal try not not being overwhelmed not allowing yourself to be overwhelmed with worry and concern right and allowing it to be toxic with that devil card okay that energy not allowing that to happen instead remaining in faith instead remaining going through healing instead remaining in with this outcome of newness and that the brighter days with the sun card that's the outcome right or the advice keep your eye on the prize right keep your eye on the prize keep here's virgo energy so there's been a level of virgo energy i feel like that has come up in every zodiac reading thus far like this is a very strong virgo season she is really exuding and exerting her power. She's like, listen, no guys, everything is cool, but can we just lay the plans out just a little bit more? Or can we just make sure that we're putting one foot in front of the other on stable ground and not always just something that's going to potentially blow away in the wind? Okay. Um, so just know that it's like remain planted, remain focused, keep watering your plants. You're just fine, Libra. Look at you. Be your most Libra self. You know that you're not going to get out more than you put in. So put in a proper amount, but take time for yourself. Don't overexert yourself. 
Don't over exude yourself. Don't do too much where you're beginning to lose faith because the more that we actually toil, that's the danger, I think, sometimes in earth energy, right? We want to toil in the earth and that can um, disrupt, greatly disrupt um, the manifestation process. So let's try not to toil too much in the dirt and instead um, really get get our hands dirty, yes, but get our hands dirty in making sure that our plants are growing, that we're weeding, that we're watering, all of that, um, and that we're pruning, just taking care of what we're doing, not ripping everything all the way back up again and replanting, but sticking with it, overcoming whatever obstacles, and just knowing that it's going to work, we just need a little extra time take care of our mental, emotional, and physical health as well, all at the same time. That's where this healing and this happiness. If you're mentally, emotionally, and physically happy, right, or working towards it, you're happy overall. All right, guys, that's what I have for you for this month. Thank you so very much for being with me. Again, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. And when you subscribe, hit that bell button down there so that you get all the notifications. And just make sure that your push notifications are enabled on your phone or other mobile device. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you so much. Namaste. Bye-bye.